So in this video, I'm going to give you a few really effective tips for how to prepare for the IELTS reading test. And the f my first tip is to read something every day in English, even if it's only for 20 minutes a day. Try and read something at least. It will get your brain thinking in English as it reads in English. You can read articles from magazines or from news websites on topics that interest you. And it's also a good idea to read about topics that come up regularly in the IELTS test, uh, such as health, education and the environment. And this will help you build your confidence when reading and it will, will also help you grow your vocabulary. What I'm going to do now is show you some websites, quite a few websites, which are very good sources of reading material. And links to all these websites are in the um, links, the, the external links below the video. Here's one very useful website, the BBC News Magazine. It features lots of topical issues, roundups of UK news and letters, sometimes has a quiz as well. And The Economist. Uh, this covers international news and politics, business, finance, science, science as well, technology. So there's loads of good articles in here. And The Economist Technology Quarterly is also very good. They've got lots of technology news, technology articles too. And The Economist magazine called 1843 which is the year that The Economist started. And it's got lots of lifestyle, culture articles in here. Popular Science is a, a monthly online magazine about current scientific issues and technology. And The New Scientist, again, another science website, also has lots of the latest news and articles about scientific research. National Geographic, you may have heard of. This is a website, of course, about geography, explan exploration, the environment. Science Focus is uh, a website run by the BBC. So it's the BBC's science website, and it's got lots of technology news in here as well. Science Daily has lots of the latest science news and articles, things like global warming. Uh, planets, uh, the natural world. Also diseases come up here as well and cures. And the American scientist. This has uh, this is to do with scientific research. So it covers some of the latest research in America. And Australian Geographic uh, covers things to do connected with wildlife and the environment. And again, science and adventure. So it's really important to try and read as much as you can. But it's also important to try and practice the IELTS reading test as well at home because it will give you a, a better understanding of what to do in the tests and it will make you feel a lot more confident as well and it will help you time your, uh, your tests as well. Now there are a lot of uh, practice materials online which you can buy and lots of websites where you can download practice materials as well. So I strongly recommend you try to find some good reading practice materials on the internet or to buy books like these that you can get. Now, when you begin to practice tests for the reading test, make sure that you do it in a slow way, first of all. Now, what I mean by slow practice is basically you have the answers near you so that you can check your answers after you've done each question. And it'll help you understand how the reading test works. So, for example, here is a part of the general training IELTS reading test with the question at the top and the text on the left. So what you should try and do 
is look at the questions, look at the text, decide what you think the answer is, and then you can check the answers in the back of the book. And if you get the answer wrong, what you need to do is just work out why you've got it wrong. Why is it not A? Why is the answer D? So think about why the answer is D. So don't get upset or sad. Just try to learn from your mistakes instead. And once you're more confident with answering the IELTS reading test questions, then you can do some timed practice and try and complete the test within, within the 60 minute time limit. So those are my main tips for how to prepare for the IELTS reading test.